Talks defenseman Ethan Del Mastro after the five to four overtime win against uh, Grand Rapids and uh, definitely a heck of a comeback by you guys uh, in that third period. What was that minute and a half stretch like for you guys? Yeah, no, obviously a pretty amazing comeback. I think uh, we all kind of talked about it in the room and we wanted to come out and have a, a strong third period. And I thought we really brought it and kind of came together as a group in that uh, last period and, and uh, turned out pretty well for us. What was different in that minute and a half stretch? Yeah, I think I think it was kind of a combination of, of the periods of four kind of getting more into the game. You know, I thought the first period, I think we kind of knew as a team we weren't very into it. We were kind of a little bit skating around and, and just kind of stick checking. And I think we kind of came out in the second and, and changed that a little bit and got a little more emotion in our game. And, and I think just kind of continuing that in the third, it kind of developed into those uh, those goals. The uh, the overtime goal, Reichel with a, a great setup and a great pass across. Kind of, what was that moment like? Was it a pretty easy read for you? Like, was the puck pretty flat? I mean, it was a little hard to tell. I couldn't tell if Reich sauced it over or, or what the look was like. Yeah, I think it was just kind of a little bit of a, a battle, and, and we kind of got up the ice on a two-on-one. And, um, you know, it looked like he was shooting, so I was kind of getting ready for a rebound. But he's pretty good at that, at kind of looking off the, the, the shot. And, um, yeah, it was pretty flat sauce. He's, he's pretty good at that as well. So uh, kind of an easy uh, tap in, and, and yeah, it was really, really good for us. So he was giving you kind of the no look as well, right? Or that's how it felt? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I mean, that's probably part of his game, you know, looking off the, the, the kind of the pass and acting like you're going to shoot. But, uh, yeah, great play by him. A lot of penalties in the second period, and then at the start of the third as well. How did you guys weather that, and, and and then start to turn the tide at five on five there in the third? Yeah, I think it's about you know kind of gaining momentum on those you know whether it's a penalty kill or a power play. You know, obviously trying to get one, but if if you can't score, you know, I think it's about gaining momentum and, and trying to kill off those, and then kind of rallying as a group and, and continuing with the momentum. Thanks, Tilly. Thank you. Here with Cole Gutman after the five to four overtime win uh, against Grand Rapids and Cole, heck of a comeback there in the third period by you guys. Uh, what was that minute and a half like? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It just shows the resilience with, that we have in this group. And even when we were down by three, we kind of all just stuck together and, and knew that we could get the job done. So uh, I took everyone in that room, so it was fun. I was talking with uh, Del Master earlier, but uh, what changed for you guys in those couple shifts there that produced those three goals? Yeah, I think we were just playing hard. We were playing harder on their D. They got a, they got a really good group, so um, I think getting more physical was one of the things that we talked about, and I think we executed that a little better in the second half of the game. Uh, two goals and an assist here for you tonight. I know your line mates, Pitlick and Sini, like you guys have been trading turns scoring. It seems like what's it like playing with those two and the chemistry you guys have? Yeah, they're, they're so fun to play with. They're so crafty and, and so good all over the ice. And um, it's great to see the success that they're having as well. So uh, I think we, we've been gelling together pretty well and hopefully can keep it going. Feels like you guys have only taken a couple games here to really find a groove. Why is it you think that it's taken so little time to you know get used to playing with them and to be finding them uh, for you know goal scoring opportunities and, and putting it in the back of the net? I think we're finding what's working and we're uh, continuing to keep doing that and being more consistent with it. and. Uh, playing the right way. So I think we had a lot of games to, to kind of figure out uh, in a quick am amount of time the, over the last week or two. So um, I think after this break, we kind of got to rejuvenate a little bit and get back at it. Some weird travel for you guys as well. H how did you guys kind of find your legs there, starting in the second, but then into the third as well? A lot of penalties as well, kind of a weird game, not a lot of flow to it, but you guys found a groove. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the travel and, and the schedule, it's all part of it. So uh, it's something that you gotta, you gotta play through and you gotta be mentally tough. It's, it's mental and um, obviously at the start, I think we started off a little bit slow, but once we, we found our legs and, and got in our groove, we, we kind of took off from there. I know for you and for Lucas Reichel, maybe took a couple of games down here in Rockford to start feeling comfortable again. Where do you feel like your game's at right now? Yeah, I think uh, both of us I think we're in a good spot right now. I think uh, we're playing well and we're playing hard. I think uh, playing hard is kind of the biggest key when you come down here. It's a big, heavy league, so you, you got to get into guys. And I think when you're getting into guys and making plays around the ice, good things happen. Thanks, Cole. Thank you.